What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another wedding. It is a cloudy, overcast Sunday. Currently grabbing the truck, gonna go grab the trailer so we can load up and get on the road. Gabe will be my assistant for the day. It's gonna be fun, let's go. I figured I'd show it a little bit more on the channel because I've been getting questions about it. This is my uh, 12 by 6 dual axle badass trailer that I pull for all my events. I guess people wanted to know some of the mods and stuff that I have to it and maybe I'll make a whole video on it. I've made a couple videos in the past of my trailer. One of the best things ever for my trailer is this right here which is an electric jack. So basically plugs right into my normal port here. Plugs it in right there. Then all I do to lower and raise my jack is that. Push the button. Lowers it right down onto my ball. Very simple. And and as you guys saw, it is a little bit slow, but the nice part is it's got this little extension right here. That way, you don't have to raise and lower it the whole way. You use this extension, just slide this extension up, and you're good to go. Hook your chains up, make sure you cross your chains, and you're good to go. Hook up your actual trailer. Not gonna lie, the system that I have set up nowadays is just so insanely fast. Cause that took me, no lie, under 10 minutes to load everything up, which is awesome. It's also why trailers with everything on wheels is like, I don't care who you are, you can argue all you want. Uh, if you can wheel stuff in and out with a ramp, it is the easiest way ever to load in and out. So I've shown the trailer a little bit in the past. I have E-Track basically built in all the way around. E-Track is what allows me to put all these little clamps and stuff in on all the different things. I have these bigger ratchet straps that just tie in. You can put them wherever. It's got the big hooks up here to hold stuff that are also E-Track. I can put those hooks down there. E-Track's awesome for trailers. It's like Lego kits. I honestly need to mount some more up in here. But as you can see, everything ties down nice and easily. Basically, everything's on three loads, four loads. So up light audio rack we call this burfa burfa's got the big turntable booth in it that's what we nicknamed her burfa and then we got a rock and roll of all the little nitty-gritty stuff for the ceremony and whatnot um i got a big ass extension cord right here that we used at the last wedding that i just didn't bother rolling up more hook tie downs and all kinds of stuff but everything's all strapped down makes life easy as you guys can see my trailer is no lie way bigger than what you need for an average mobile dj company i mainly have this big of a trailer because this is the maximum size trailer that my tacoma up there can actually pull and uh if you guys have seen some of the older gig logs like the the big school dances and stuff like that when we do those big ones this thing packs up pretty quick whenever we have to bring up a bunch of pipe and drape a bunch of subwoofers subwoofers take up a lot of room and they're heavy it packs in really quickly and trusting and all that sort of stuff it can fill up really quick i mean as you guys can see i have everything for the wedding and there's still a bunch of stuff chilling in here that's not getting used today but anyways all loaded up i'm going to make sure go over make sure i have everything on my check sheets, check sheets to make sure I have everything for the wedding. And I'm um, gonna wait on Gabe, he's eating some food. Gonna grab everything, put it in the truck, and we're gonna head out to this wedding. We're going to a country club today, so it's gonna be pretty fancy. We got like a plated meal and everything, so pretty excited for that. Um, don't expect much dancing. It is a very small wedding. Like I have a lot of stuff here, like I'm bringing the big booth and stuff, but it's very small. I think it's 25 people, so and they don't anticipate to have dancing. It's a Sunday. We are gonna be doing live streaming of the ceremony. I'm, I'm rambling at this point, so I'll catch you guys at the event. Yo, I don't know if you guys heard, but I'm giving away a Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT. That's right, this right here, not this one. I'm giving you guys a brand new one. This is, this is mine. This is, my, this is my office one. I'm giving away a brand new Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT if you haven't heard. Basically, every $5 you spend on ShopDJLife.com is going to get you one entry to win a Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT. It's going on until January 2nd. We got hoodies, we got t-shirts, and we got these awesome lanyards. DJ Life lanyards got the metal class. That's right, that's metal, not plastic. High quality. These are 5 bucks. So if you guys just want to go pick yourself up a lanyard to you get yourself an entry to win a Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT, go for it. Anyways, back to the video. We here at Star Mount. I'm going to go inside and do the initial walkthrough evaluation of where we're setting up. Alright guys, here we are inside of the banquet hall. This is where we're going to be setting up. And over here, this is going to be closed. This is going to be where the cocktail hour is going to be. So we're going to set up over here and we're actually going to bring our setup out a little bit from the wall. So that way we can kind of limit this crazy big emptiness of a dance floor. There's only going to be 20 to 25 people in total. I think 25 with vendors. We're going to set up, bring the setup out a little bit as you'll see. And uh, I mean, gave about the bust out. Thank you. 
Hey guys, we're like five minutes until this starts. Sorry, we've been dealing with a little bit of technology issues with the live stream, but we're doing it a really fancy live stream for this. And uh, right now we got 46 people on the live stream. So this is my biggest ceremony live stream. So I wanted to share it a little bit, but we got everything set up. You guys probably didn't see it all earlier, but we're running, my 13 inch is running virtual DJ and the show express for all the lights. But this is what's playing the music into here. And then we're outputting it to the H6. The H6 is gonna record everything. And actually I'm gonna start the recording right now. And then we're outputting it into the Elgato. And then we actually, this is the YouTube live stream right now. There's uh, 47 people on there now, all in the chat having fun. And then we can go to the OBS studio. We got camera one. There's a little bit of a glare. Let me fix that for you guys. Not really to see it, but that's camera one, which is the Logitech over there. And then we can switch to Gabe's camera right here. And I gotta go to the next song. But uh, yeah, we got camera one and we got camera two, which is over here. We got camera two, which is Drake's, or Drake, yeah. We got Gabe on the Canon over here. So this camera is gonna be able to shoot everything. And then uh, we're running two lapels that run into the audio board, all kinds of stuff. Got the turntable booth up there. And then this camera is gonna be used to record everything in real time for uh, the live recording after the fact. We're about ready to go. So I'm gonna put this up on the tripod to record everything. And we'll get going. We hereby declare you on this day, the 15th of November and the year of our Lord, 2020, pronounce you lawfully husband and wife. I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Lester. Well, everyone, ceremony is over with. We have now already transformed the room. I mean, there wasn't much to transform, but we're now into our cocktail portion. Cocktail is taking place over there. We have the LD playing the music over there. Let me uh, walk you through a little bit of our setup. Obviously, you see we have 16 uplights around the room. Those are the Chinese pars, my favorite uplights I've ever bought now. Probably going to be selling my ADJ Element Hex pars. So if you're interested in some ADJ Element Hex pars, I got 12 of them. Hit me up. All right, so back to what we were actually filming and talking about. Um, there's no one else in here. Let's go through the full setup. We already kind of looked at the live streaming setup which is all but gone now. It's all been torn off. So let's take a look at what we're rocking with. If you guys have followed the last few gig logs where I had the turntable booth, it's gonna be pretty familiar. So first off, got the custom turntable booth, full video on this that explains everything, but we got two Rain 12s and we have an S9 center mixer here. It's all got little ports and cabinets where I can hide my mics and stuff like that. We got 16 of the wireless PARs that I've already said. These are my Chinese PARs. Gonna be making a video on them very soon. Looks very awesome. Speaker wise is JBL PRX. 712s with JBL PRX 715 XLF subs as always these are my favorite wedding speakers not the best sounding speakers in the world like there's definitely better sounding like the SRX setup sounds significantly better but this for a wedding setup is the most practically portable full range setup that just sounds amazing back behind it we do have a mess of wires right here this is all the stuff from the uh, live streaming all the ethernet cables and everything to make it all run perfectly good but we have the audio rack back here which has our yamaha mg012 right here center mixer firm and power strip shave show express with the wireless donor dmx built into it so that we can transmit dmx signal to all of our pars one audio technical wireless microphone i have already bought the second one that goes right here i just have yet to do all the cable management to get it installed but it's tucked up right here for now running on channel four got a little power strip down there there's a full two videos on this how we make the table out of it this is literally the lid so that goes on the front that goes on the back we got all the cables inside of it good to go speakers we got gaby over here rocking it that's it we have all the up lights around the room and that's what the setup looks like you doing jumping jacks oh, okay TikTok dances got our cushy mat so my feet don't get destroyed my vmoto all white icy crossfade lp2s they're also bluetooth but i always i got a question on this so these are wireless headphones like they have Bluetooth on them. I can put them on, I can Bluetooth my phone to them. But when I DJ, I always run with the hard wire right into the thing. Wireless audio is just not there yet in my opinion. So I run it hard wire. Let me go show you the cocktail hour area. It's pretty cool. And uh, we'll see what's that going. So just have an LD systems, Maui 5 Go wireless playing audio from the iPad right there for the cocktail hour. People are also outside. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, I want to welcome you 
to Star Mount Country Club here for Rebecca and Andrew's wedding reception. Come on, please make some noise real quick. Make some noise. You guys are the lucky ones here. We've got a wonderful food prepared this evening. My name is Rick, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Let me know. But we got some very, very important people that I need to be introducing into the reception this evening. So if you could direct your attention to the doors over there. DJ, drop that track for me real quick. First up, we're going to welcome in Rebecca's parents, and that would be Deborah and Benjamin Stoner. Come on, put your hands together. Give it up for them. Following up, we have Andrew's parents, and that is Leanne and Terry Lester. <laughs> Moving into our wedding party, first up is Julie and Nick. Next, we have Renee and David. I gotta ask for everyone to please rise from your seats. Rise from your seats if you may, please. Put your hands together, scream and shout if you wish, as my honor to introduce for the second time tonight, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Lester. Yo, so uh, wedding is over. We're um, cleaning up everything. So enjoy some time lapse. The wedding worked out, it was great. So enjoy the time lapse footage. And just like that, all lowered out. Gabe's whistling for some reason. All right, it is still windy as crap outside. So I'm gonna go on the trailer and I'm gonna finish this little gig log because we all lowered out. Anyways guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave it down in the comment section down below. If you think you're gonna survive from this windstorm, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn post notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Keep the record spinning. Peace. Out. Gabe. We're not gonna survive. Pray for us. Peace. <laughs>